and safety. Well, new tonight, more people are turning to psychics to try to solve their problems. And you can even learn to see the future yourself. Tonight, CBS2 explores psychic therapy. When Shirley Martin needed help with her design business, she turned to a clairvoyant. A month after I literally doubled my business in volume and in profit. When Angelo Conti was feeling a little lost and in need of direction, he turned to one too. Much happier, uh, much calmer. Martin and Conti are part of a growing trend. Instead of going to a career counselor, life coach, or therapist, they're seeking the help of a clairvoyant. According to the most recent statistics, nearly 700,000 Americans spent more than $1,000 in 2011 on readings. This is going to be a quick video about discovering your psychic ability. Readings with a variety of so-called metaphysical advisors, whether a psychic, clairvoyant, medium, or energy healer. People come to see me because they have some uh, need for fulfillment and clarity in their lives. Tori Quisling, founder of the New York Center for Clairvoyant Development, says for many people today, it's no different than booking an appointment with any other professional they see regularly, like a personal trainer or a nutritionist. I have so many people that have done amazing things that were only just in their dreams. Quisling doesn't read palms, use a crystal ball or tarot cards. Being clairvoyant means that I can see uh, into the energetic uh, field around you. It's called your aura and it comes across as uh, mental image pictures. Those pictures, says Quisling, show her what's going on in her clients lives. If your commitments and things you're giving your energy to are in alignment with what's in your heart. Both Martin and Conti say Quisling helped boost their confidence and show them how to take control of their own futures. Ultimately, she teaches all her clients to be clairvoyant themselves by using their intuition. If we were able to focus more on how what we're seeing can be applied to our everyday life, uh, we would become more successful. So in times of turmoil or when people are going through transitions, they really want answers. So the idea of going to a clairvoyant or a psychic is so very, very appealing. Clinical psychologist Barbara Greenberg says it's not for everyone and says you may need to consider additional resources. If it's job related, they might need to see a career counselor. If they're having trouble deciding about whether or not to get out of a relationship, then perhaps they want to go to a therapist or a marital counselor. Critics do warn there is no real scientific evidence proving psychic abilities. Oh, Grammy nominee Meg